constrain the language. All right, we're gonna put a little scenario together. I'm in the cornfield, soybean field, I'm in the edge of a willow break, wherever I might be. And the ducks, I see them, and I'm gonna greet them. I'm gonna let them know, here I am, come on, we're happy over here. Now, it helps tremendously if you've got jerk strings and the water's moving, and the ducks are, the decoys are moving, and it helps a whole lot if you've got more than one good caller or one good understanding of waterfowl calling with you. So you can do different things. One may be feeding, chuckling, one may be doing greeting calls, uh, two of you may do the comeback call once they get by you and, and not look like they're gonna commit. So what does that sound like? All right, here they come. I see them, I'm gonna greet them. I got the decoys moving. I quit moving when they get right over here so they won't see my hand moving or anything. Let me tell you what, bluebird days in the woods are great, but if they can see you, if it's a cloudy day, it's hard. They can see so good. There's no shadows. It's really hard. You won't win on a morning hunt. If you've got 12 to 20 mile an hour winds and you got a bluebird day, they got to commit, they got to come against that wind, and your chance of success just went up tremendously. They went by. I greeted them when they went by, after they went over. I let them know, we're still happy we're over here, but they didn't come. So, ask them, please come back, please come back. And my buddy over there, we got the water moving, we got the decoys moving, Anything you can do to add to it, the actual realism of what you've got on the water is going to make a huge difference in whether or not those ducks are going to commit. There's nothing finer than shooting them when they're coming in to the decoys. When they've committed, you've tricked them and they're right behind you.